I have been wanting to kind of do Oh, I'm so nervous just because my my family is in the house listening to me. I'm so nervous. Um it's, it's really hard for me. I've been wanting to do this video for for years maybe, not exactly this video, but the the kind of the, the message that I have, I have been wanting to, yes, to talk about this. And, and I, I have done it a little, a little sometimes in, in blogs and, but in general, I'm, I'm, I'm quite private about this. But um, I just feel that I really cannot wait anymore, N not for my own sake, but I, I've, some people will will think, oh, strange, what is she doing? But I know that some people um, would feel good about what I have to say. And I, I have experienced a lot that sometimes that other people open up and talk about what they feel like saying. It helps me personally. And a lot of brave people has done that. Um, and help me. So therefore, I think maybe someone also would have some kind of benefit about me talking. So I will talk. Um, and it, it's funny because I have actually wanted to talk openly about this for maybe 10 years and I, I or more maybe, but, um, but I, I have not, never done it because it is it's scary and it's people have so much judgment and bottom line um since i was a child um i have had premonitions um and and i have foreseen what would happen uh, events that will that would happen and um so yes you can say i'm a clairvoyant and um I think now is the right time to, to tell. And of course I have said it, few people know and, and a few people who have read some blogs, but now I want to say it, yeah. <laughs> oh, so much talking about because I'm so nervous. It is so strange. When I was, I think seven, six, seven, seven, eight years old, I I, I saw that my my dad would die and my mom would take care of him. And I was dreaming that in the nights, and it was very scary to me. And um, I, those dreams, you could say haunted me, but they, I, I had it many times. And that my mom would be, she looked young and, and my dad looked sick and, and old. And I felt he would die and I was so afraid of it. And uh, it also happened. My dad died in, when he was uh, 58. And, and my, my mom is quite some years younger than him. So it also happened. Um, and he was not sick when he was young, of course. Uh, also, I had a nanny. And uh, her mom, I, I felt, oh, she, that woman, she, she doesn't look like she would be very old. And she was also healthy and very beautiful. That, that the mom of the nanny I had. When I, and as I told my mom, she said, oh, you cannot say, say those things about people. But maybe 10 years or 15 years, I don't know. Not so many years after that woman died and she wasn't so old. And um, I'm, ha I'm having these premonitions all the time. So, so it, it is big things now telling some of the big things and um, it has also been small things um, oh I think I will meet that person in the street in 10 minutes per people that I maybe haven't seen for five years and then it happens and and people who who just died I I, I, I think about I feel them I think about them and, and then I get into my head and then uh, some hours later someone tells me oh 
that one died. Okay, yeah. And, um, and, and that is my life. And uh, when I, um, also when I was a child, I was very, very scared. We was living close to the ocean, close to the sea. And I was so scared. And I, I, I said I would never live close to the ocean. Um, and I have felt that all my life. I, I, I get chills when I, people, especially many years ago, it was, oh, you should live by the sea and very close to the sea. And that is the most expensive. And I was, oh, I will never live close to the sea. It's scary because I think the, the sea will come and get me and, and that the, the water level would, would rise. And, and that is what I felt. And, 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 and now it's also happening. And um, I also, I, I once was in a car accident, a car accident where I was driving on my bike. And uh, I also foreseen that. I, I, I also had foreseen that. Um, had a premonition on it because I, for 14 days, I, I suddenly started before that accident. I, I started to constantly feel that I was hit by a car and my thoughts was all the time circling around that when the car hits me I should pull my legs uh, <laughs> my knees up to yeah to my to my chest to my, my body and and then everything would uh, would be fine and I was so scared it is some years ago and uh, and I just think, oh, I'm so crazy. I, I have so much anxiety. I'm, I'm such a crazy person. Um, but then, but it, it was just circling in my mind constantly that I would do that when the car hits me. And, 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 and then the car, maybe 14, two weeks after, then, then, the, then a car hit me. And uh, I was so focused in my mind. So. I took those knees and um, actually flew uh, of two meters or three meters uh, from, I, I was on, the, on the, the front of a car and I was thrown back and my bike, it got, um, yeah, yes, not straight, I don't know the word. Um, it, it, I couldn't bike on it after and, and, and all my stuff, it was all around that, uh, that road and, and, and a lot of cars was around me, but luckily they all stopped. But I was just lying there, and some um, some people stopped and, and helped me, and I was just in shock. And and it was I had some marks, uh, and it could have been very bad. It was a, a young woman who was talking on her phone, so she was not paying attention that she should stop. So she just drove. It was not a high speed, but it it could it was dramatic and. It, and and me and me and the bike was on the front of a car. So I know that if I hadn't taken my 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 knees, then I I would definitely had had a a trauma on my on my knee and that. But but not nothing happened physically that that was not that was very serious. So it was um yeah. I was so so happy about that. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just one thing. And then our son, I I I'm, I'm not a person who. I have always wanted to have children so intensely, of course, but um, oh, of course, <laughs> but I, I I have had that feeling since I was a child. But even though I grew older and older, I never felt that, oh, now it's the time. And I, I was a little uh, concerned about, it. is it a problem that I'm not just so focused about getting children? Because I think I'm getting older and older. But then my dad, who had passed, and, and I also talked to what I would describe as God. Some would call it the universe. Or, um, but I... When something very important has to be said to me, then it's my dad I talk to. Yes, that I, of course, you understand that he has delayed. Um, he, he has died um, uh, many years ago. Oh, some years ago. Uh, yeah.
died. But um, yeah, he uh, he told me that my boyfriend and I would have a child uh, two three years after. And uh, and then he also and okay and it would be a boy, and I have always felt my entire life that uh, in my intellect that my 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 mom and dad they had girls so maybe that would be natural but but when he said it would be a, a boy it just felt so so good and then I felt oh that's good and um, and and then uh, and then he also told me that my my aunt, my my dad's sister, big big sister, that she would die in two thousand and sixteen. He he told me at the same time, and I was so sad about it, and I I just couldn't because she was not sick or anything, and, and she she looked very young for her age. She was around in her, in her sixties, but but she looked very young. She she looked like. 50 or something. She, um, um, yeah, very beautiful and healthy, uh, active woman. Yeah, so I, I didn't know, oh, of course, she would not die. And But he told me, and it was very strong, both that she would die and that we would have that child. But I, 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 I still didn't f felt like uh, I was ready for that child. Um, but we had a cat actually, that we loved, we fell in love with that cat. It was two years after something, and after I was told that. And, and we loved that cat. But it died. It was uh, uh, run over in the traffic. And then I, I, I asked the cat why it died, and then it showed me a little paw that was a, a fetus. It was so sweet with a, a cat. It was so cute. I saw that pink little cat fetus paw. And 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 suddenly we felt like having a child. And it was actually about that time. It, it just it, it it was just immediately that we suddenly it, it was we we went from from thinking, oh, that would be nice someday, till it's do now. And uh, then we also asked, um, maybe it was my dad, it could be also God, or, or what I, yes, what I like to ask. I, I can't remember, but um, I asked, what, will it take a long time to get pregnant, or, or what will happen? We have never tried that before. No, no, we'll get uh, pregnant uh, the first time we tried. And of course, it's not that we just think, oh, then we'll be that. But um, yes, we were together and uh, we t took a test. It was negative and I was so sad because, oh no, they let me down. They make a fool of me. But my period never came, so we, we took another test. And yes, and I was pregnant uh, in the first try. <laughs> and. Uh, and um, as they said, we would be, and and it was a boy, and as they said, it would be, and um, yeah, a uh, short, maybe half year, a year after I was told that she would die, they actually told me, or th they told us that she was has just been diagnosed with cancer my aunt and I was just it was such a hard period for me because I was told that and yeah I really didn't want that to happen um, but still I, I, I felt some kind of peace because I know that if it is meant to be then it's the right thing um, in, in, in my perspective and then I I, I went into labor and then a half time after, I went into labor. Then her husband called my mom and, and told that that she died a half time, a half an hour before. So, so my labor started 
actually almost exactly the same time as she passed. It was labels that continued from that day and then two days on, and it was all the time. It was just so not intense. And then my water, water broke, and then and then it started two days after that. It was just so crazy. But I, I was sitting on that gym ball because I, I had labels that I could feel, but it was not. I was not going into an active birth, but it 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 started exactly at the same time as she died. I, I have had a lot of experiences in that direction, a, a lot more than, also many more than I am telling, but, but that is my life and it has been hard to talk about because people are so judgmental about it and some people get very, very angry, but it's just, it, it's not something that I can flee from or deny it's not just oh i feel this and then you can of course i i i i'm also like oh i feel this and then i think it's true but but you know this is very concrete no concrete you cannot say that in, in english but 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 this is very it's very solid when you are told things that then happens in the future then you start to believe and um because that has been my life, and it has been more and more. Um, yes, but 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 why I think that that this is very important, and why I cannot hold this back. I, I'm actually writing a book about this, and I have been writing on it for for some years. And I I I'm actually writing on a lot of books, and I love writing. And but I'm always stopping myself because. Oh, what if that one and that one would think that and that about me? But now I think I cannot do this anymore, and and that is because of that. Uh, a lot of strange stuff happening in this world now that I know a lot of people fear. And um, and I I have also experienced fear, and um, but now uh, I I feel this is important, and this is the reason that I that I start to, to talk about this now and that I, I think, oh, I cannot just hold this in because of my own being embarrassed and my own being shy because maybe a lot of people think, oh, she's so big and she's such an idiot. Or what they can think of, she's retarded. She has no critical uh, point of perspective on stuff. Or whatever people would like to say. Because people always find a way to criticize you if if they are scared of something or disagree or whatever, and that's okay. But I, I just feel that, and, and that is also what has been holding me back because I don't like people to criticize me, talk bad about me. But some people do it anyway, you know, whatever, no matter what you do. But, and life is too short for that. I know that some people would maybe feel, feel, feel more safe because, and I also do that myself. Um, because when our son, uh, number two son, we have two sons, when uh, I, I just was pregnant with him, then um, then my daddy he told me that that there would be some kind of that the world would be a little scary, and and it will be soon, and a lot of uh, crazy stuff would happen, and there would be a lot of forcing upon population and. Um, my dad told me that scary stuff would happen in the in in the world uh, now, um, and he, he told me that, um, uh, and also some of the details that we see now um, happening, things that will be forced upon people, population control, and, and that you that you can tell people what to do without without that you have your own rights in some way because. And and that uh, he just told me, and he, he told me that it will be shortly after our son number two is born, and he's seven months now, and and this has been going on for a little while, so it makes so much sense. He also told me that that something in Australia would change, would change something. I believe that it was all those fires, and also that thing, that awareness that some people. 
is actually trialed or, or accused for a lot of people for, for putting those fires unintentionally. And, and, and that is something that is making people think that strange stuff are happening. And that is very scary to a lot of people and, and it is very scary what is going on now. And I hope that some of you are not scared. Uh, but I know that some are, because I, it can also catch me, that fear. I just wanted to, to tell that my daddy told me that this was going to happen. And he also told me that, that it would actually stop being horrible. And things will get, get good, and it will, not, um, it will not take a long time. And I believe him. But I just want to tell you that I think everything will be alright. Everything will be good. I pray. I pray to God and I pray to all this, this beauty the, in, the, in the world and, and to love. And It's very personal for me to say this. People can realize that because it has taken me so many years. Because it is so... I really don't want that people criticize criticizing me, but uh, I feel if this can bring peace to someone, it is worth it. And it brings peace to me because even though was a, a lot of times when I'm told something, then I, I feel, oh, maybe this will not be good. M maybe this time it is not true what they're telling me. But um, and, of co and as I told you, there are so many other examples, many, 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 multiple examples, more than, than what I've mentioned. But, but this, this is some of the milestone. It, it is some important ones, but there are more important ones. And yeah, there's a lot, it, because it's actually my everyday life. <laughs> it's like that. So I, I just want people to feel safe and feel the love and peace inside. and. And just have faith that this will be good. Of course, it's also, I think it's amazing that some people also do something practically. But to me, the, the, the most important, I think, is that you feel safe inside and then you're not scared. I believe that no matter what, everything will be good and... And that is what I believe. Because everything that I used to get told, it, 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 all, it always turns out to be right. Even though it's very strange for me. But th that is how it is. So, take care and let's pray to whatever you believe in or, 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 or just think positive and, and think that this will be good. You can also, if you don't, oh, I don't believe, then you can say, I believe that stuff will get good and that, that the good things in, in, in humans, it, it, it is the strongest. And that love always wins. So, so God bless you all. And thank you for, for watching this. And, um, yeah, thank you.